what India is trying to do now is to basically put a veneer of normalcy uh, to claim that uh, that this is a done deal and the international community must just accept it. So that's what they're trying to do. It's primarily misusing its presidency of the G20 right now, flouting international law actually, because uh, what it does is it sends a wrong signal to the big powers that they can um, forcibly control a region and um, you know the international community must accept it as a fait accompli. Well, it wants to legitimize what it did on uh, August 5, 2019, which was a uh, undemocratic and unilateral annexation of Kashmir. I think that uh, the countries that are participating have made a bad choice. I mean, we live in an era where big powers are basically invading other countries and taking over land. What if tomorrow Russia decides to become the president of G20 and you know invite delegations to the, the, the occupied parts of Ukraine? Would the US, UK, France, and any other country go there and legitimize that occupation? I know that some of these countries want to tease India because they want India to sort of participate as a, a bulwark against China. But I think that a lot uh, of principles are getting lost in this geopolitical game. And I also believe that the, the countries that are actually participating have not sent high-level delegations uh, to Srinagar. So the reality is that this is in a way a diplomatic blowback for India. I mean, they expected some kind of an enthusiastic response but I don't think it has uh, become that. Already Kashmir is heavily militarized. Already uh, Kashmiris don't have the freedom of expression. Young Kashmiris have been picked up and sent to jails. And because of these events, even more repression is uh, carried out. So in a way, this is on G20 delegates who go to Kashmir. Because by participating in it, they are um, you know, complicit in the repression in Kashmir. One of the interesting aspects of G20 is that it does not only talk about the economy, it talks about um, ecology of climate, environment, and sustainable growth. But this meeting is happening in a region where Indian state has relentlessly pursued ecocide. It has built dams, it has um, extended uh, tourist seasons in fragile glacial regions. It has, especially after August 5, 2019, allowed domestic mining companies from India to extract mineral resources from fragile riverine systems in Kashmir. So this is, um, this is truly a farce really that has been uh, played by the Indian state uh, you know, as the president of the G20 right now.